So the farrier just arrived and we are about to get started on trimming some horses. So we have an awesome group of kids that just arrived for a homeschool field trip. Oh, you're, oh goodness. You're just so sweet. Someone told me that there's a hornet's nest beside our mailbox somewhere. Hi, we've met briefly before. You've kicked me before. Maridi has been having issues with aggression, especially when we're trying to pick up his feet. So the farrier just arrived and we are about to get started on trimming some horses. So this is Sequoia. She is the first one on the list today. She's doing great. She didn't need any sedation um, and she's standing very calmly for the farrier. We're on the last foot now, but she's doing great. She was pawing into Freedom's tail. This is Libby. She is one of our more spooky mares. She hasn't had a whole lot of handling. Um, so she did get some sedation for her trim today. She was kind of carrying on. She's been pawing constantly. She's just really uncomfortable. She's extremely buddy sour. The sedation is hitting her good right now and uh, she's, standing, she's standing for her trim. So I'm just checking for balance. So we want to make sure, well, okay, so before I pick the foot up, when I first when I first come to this horse, I'm gonna pick this up and I'm gonna check for long axis balance and see uh, see how the plane to the bottom of the foot is doing in, in relation to the limb. And then when I'm under them and I just look down the foot, I'm just checking the plane of the foot to see how flat it is and to see what, what parts are high and need to be brought down. So right now, He's got a real high heel here and his whole foot is high lateral. So we want to bring this whole lateral side down with a little bit of extra emphasis on this heel. So bring that down, get it to flat. And we're going to come all the way across this lateral side and bring that down a little bit. And bring it in a little bit and then we can look down it and check it again and see that we have a good flat surface on the bottom of his foot. Hmm. That'll be good. It's good to go. Yay, good girl. She did very well. I was impressed. We're gonna move on to our next drunkie. Tipsy Lou down the end. Anthem, who is happily napping. He's actually tall enough to get under. <laughs> kind of our plan, I know next. A lot of retained soul. Neither of these guys seem to shed a lot of soul which you don't see terribly often around here because how freaking wet we are. This is Rooney and we, he's a bad boy. We are taking him to the round pen because he has been known for dragging, pulling, escaping, biting, kicking, um, charging. He just has a little donkey attitude. So we're just gonna take him in the round pen. Whee! So that we can get him trimmed. <laughs> hey buddy. Hey there. Easy killer. I like your little fly boots. You're a regular mess. It was a... Uh... Kind of an ordeal last time. We had three people holding them up against the fence. Yeah, nothing there. Now he's packed his foot full of gravel again. Pick it up. Hey, no, you're sticking around. Good boy, Rudy.
Are we ready to sedate? Might as well. Okay. It's whatever you're comfortable with. I'm not uncomfortable, but it's gonna save us time for sure. Okay. If he's sleeping, so. We can do that then. Do that. Taking more off of him than I have off any of these horses today. He's long. Donkeys retain their hoof wall a lot better than horses. They've got, they've got stronger sole. It doesn't wear as much. And so it supports, you know, it'll grow out with the hoof wall and will support it better as it grows out. You just trying to get the front cleaned up a little bit? A little bit. He's flaring out awful bad. I really need to adjust that back. Dude. How can he possibly act like this with that many drugs? He just is like, he's just beating it. Like he's not. And he's like, <laughs> you thought, human. <laughs> You want to not mess with him? Yeah, I don't want us to get hurt, so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's not working. I mean, he's being. He's being a little belligerent. Yeah. It hit him all right. Oh, yeah. It's Leonardo. Um, he is another one of our younger donkeys. Um, he is doing, you know, relatively well. I mean, he's not, you know. He's doing the best he can, basically. Um, he did get some sedation, but he's doing significantly better than Rudy. Um, so he agrees. I know, I don't know what that was. But he, yeah, he's doing really good, um, considering so far we're not done yet. Don't want to speak too soon. <laughs> so after a few attempts with Rudy in the round pen, he was not cooperating, and so we gave him some time, we tied him up, the sedation was finally able to kind of hit him a little bit, then we gave him a little bit more, and now we are trying again, and this time is going a lot smoother. Um, I think he just was trying really hard to fight off that sedation and wasn't having enough time to actually let it kind of set in. Um, but right now, I mean, we're three hooves down, one more to go. The drug that we use with him um, is Detomidine, and it is a drug that if they have any um, external stimuli or they are still worked up, it won't take effect. So that's why some horses, if you try to sedate them right away and work with them, they're just gonna power through it and then your sedation won't work as well. So in the case with Rudy, um, he looked like he was gonna be okay and they just kinda got started working on him a little too quick once he was able to settle down and actually have the drugs take effect and we were able to give him a little bit more, um, it was able to actually take effect on his brain and work a lot better. So some of these, we just actually have to give him time in a quiet area um, for it to actually work fully. Do you have a shoe pullers? I do. Okay. We do have some shoes to pull. So we pulled two up earlier. We're gonna start with them. And then we have two in our blind pasture. But we haven't done a whole lot of handling with any of these guys. So it's just kind of, we'll kind of see how it goes situation. This is Samoa. He is an appendix. Your eyes don't look great. I don't love them. I think we may have to just give him some sedation. Uh-uh. Yeah, he's gonna get some sedation. He has stitches all over his face. Cause we, when we ran him into the chute to do his intake on him, he like had some trauma response, just like being restrained, which obviously he's not very happy about it right now either. I am just wiping his eyes with some water to try and get all this crustiness because it looks like he may have had a run in with some conjunctivitis. So we're gonna clean it up and then put a fly mask on him so he doesn't um, help contaminate anyone else. Easy does it, easy does it, easy does it. Catch your balance there, buddy. Oh, 
How sleepy are you? We need to put a mask on him. Yeah. Um, if you want, we can tie him to one of those panels over there. This is Mazu. Mazu. Mazu? M A Z U. I believe he has some vision loss. Other than that, we don't really know a whole lot about him. He's got some front shoes, and that's about it. You're okay, buddy. Leave it at that. Good. Yeah, that'll do. He's looking real good. He was long. He had a heck of a lot to take off of there. This is Misty. Misty came to us with a a big old Palomino quarter mare, and she is her seeing eye pony because the Palomino mare is completely blind. Nice little easy one to end the day with. Oh, don't speak too soon. You gotta watch the ponies. I'm sure I'll be fine. <laughs> fine! All right, y'all done? <laughs> <laughs> He's like towering, like looking down on me. Peasant. So we just finished up with the farrier. Um, we got 11 horses done today. We were able to get some done down in our general population and then also a few up in here in quarantine. Yep. Um, it went pretty well for him. We had some commotion earlier today um, and the horses seemed to go right through it. All in all, I think it was a pretty yeah. successful day. It was a great day. We yep. got a, lot, Feels got a good. lot done and helped out a lot of horses. So that's yep. what we're here for. Sure did. So we have an awesome group of kids that just arrived for a homeschool field trip. So today they're gonna to be seeing what we do on the medical team, as well as what the farrier and the trainers do, and then they're gonna help us do some cleaning too for the horses. Okay, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Okay, you guys listening? All right, couple of things first before we get started. Raise your hand if you've been around horses. Love that. Raise your hand if you've ran around horses. Happy we're lying. These are not the type of horses that you guys have at home right now or the ones that you guys see at the rodeo. So a lot of the horses that we get here are abused or they are not trained um, and they can be very dangerous. We had one kick someone in the face a couple weeks ago. So when we ask you guys to not run around them or to walk around them, it is for your safety because a lot of these horses probably have never even seen kids. Who likes gross medical stuff? I do. Okay, so that's what we're about to start with. So we have a horse here that had a ruptured tooth abscess, so she has a hole from the inside of her mouth to the outside of her face. And we did have it closed, right now it is open, so we're about to go clean that out. All right, does anyone know who this is? So this is Halo, yep. It's water and soap, and it's gonna push some of this food out. And then we're gonna take hemostats and we're gonna dig it out. So here's all the hay. And let me tell you, it smells wonderful. A lot of it is healed, um, but we have, we'll have the vet out tomorrow um, to put that epoxy back in. And once it's closed, the food can't get through it and it's not nearly as bad. So hopefully, eventually, it'll close all the way from both sides and then she'll be totally fine. So I'm gonna go get some antibiotics to pack in there and then she'll be good for the day. That was all. Mm -hmm. It'll be once a day until like tomorrow once we close that hole on the inside again. How bad, does it hurt her? It can hurt. When it was really infected, it hurt really bad. It's up to you now. Yeah. So we're, we've already trimmed half of this horse and we're gonna go ahead and uh, do the other, other half now. Easy does it. Yeah, you guys can come closer if you want to. Scoot in so y'all can see, but just not too close. This is all sole. This foot has got six distinct 
what they call horny or insensitive structures, and they all grow out separately from separate coriums, which is what they call the structure that they grow out from. Uh, and so each one of this, these structures has to be trimmed kind of independently. Um, obviously, it's all, it's all part of the same foot and all has to be done with all the other structures in mind, um, but they all have to be managed separately. As her hoof wall kind of grows out, it's gonna pull away from the coffin bone a little bit and it's gonna wanna stick out dorsally. It's gonna wanna hang out the front. And so we've gotta make sure, and we can shorten it from the bottom, we've gotta make sure and dress it back from the top too to keep her hoof all nice and straight and tight so that stuff doesn't break off as it grows out. None of this they can feel. They've got, they've got structures they can feel underneath it, so you don't want to cut too deep and you don't want to burn too deep. But if, you're, uh, if you know what you're doing and you're real, real careful with it, uh, they don't feel anything. And then you go ahead and you nail it on, and that's what keeps it on their foot long term. And then you clinch all the ends of your nails because uh, they come out the side of the they come out the side of the hoof after you drive them, and you kind of bend those over, and it it creates a little little clamps that just kind of hold the foot uh, down to the shoe. And you have to redo that about every six weeks because as the foot grows out, the shoe will kind of loosen up, and uh, then you have to pull it off and trim the hoof again, and then do it all again to keep it maintained. We have two trainers here, and we're, once he's done, he's gonna come back out here and he's gonna show us a little bit of what the training that he does and, and the reasonings and things like that. So that way we, you guys can figure out, you know, see how, it, see how training goes. Uh, we also check for lameness, like when we run them around the round pen right behind us, we'll see if they're, they're lame or they got a, a sore leg or you know, maybe their back or something like that. We'll, we'll look at them. Y'all want to just kind of go out and around this round pen. He's going to bring out the horse here in a minute. And I've had horses before that are really difficult with everything up until the point where I'm ready to ride them. And it feels like I just kind of got to think what I want them to do and they do it. So right there, second wall, as soon as you take that step, I release. So now I'll go and pick up on that again, and I barely had to apply any pressure that time, and he's going to lift it. Thank you so much. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> what a chance to We got the perfect number. No, we literally just grabbed buckets as we came back down. So we just got done with the field trip and it went great. The kids absolutely love seeing the medical care and how we do training as well as just how we run things here. And even better, they also did a service project and help us clean up troughs. This is Rudy. Um, Rudy has been having issues with aggression, especially when we're trying to pick up his feet or handle him. Owen's worked with Rudy a little bit. Why don't you tell them about what, what Rudy did to you the other day? <laughs> oh, we got him in because he looked skinny, so we brought him in, weighed him, and then we just kind of were playing with him, messing with him, seeing what he can do. We brought him into the vet barn, and he grabbed my knee, and with his mouth and he kicked me with his back feet in the other knee so he was a little bit wild we let him loose into the pasture for a couple days just let him dial down and then we tried to catch him and it was another rodeo so he tried to come after me as i was going towards him trying to catch him so now we're just trying to teach him to stay back and mind his manners yep pretty much mm -hmm. So I'm just using the flag so I can kind of touch him everywhere and I'm seeing if he'll show aggressive behavior while I'm messing with him with this flag. He's been doing a lot better today than he has been in the past. I just want to be able to touch him 
anywhere I need to with this thing. So that's the aggressive behavior we're talking about there. So I'll kind of hold that there for a little bit. See if he'll do that again. So when we first got him in, his feet were really overgrown. So Jenna was saying it might be a kind of a source of pain for him. I may be black and blue by the end of it, but we'll get it. I think at this point he's just being aggressive because he's learned that he can do show aggressive behavior and then people stop messing with him. He gets his release that way. So for animals like this, you just got to keep going at it until you can get something done where they relax off of what you're asking it to do. I could see him thinking about coming at me again. Good boy. When animals get into a point where they're just shutting down, they're really scared, they actually stop producing saliva. So when we're working with them, we're looking for that lick and chew response, and that's them actually starting to produce saliva again. And that's them starting to relax down, but he's not doing any of that right now. And we just worked on getting those feet picked up and he really didn't like that. So now I'm just working on getting him handled, showing him that just because he's in here, just because someone's handling doesn't mean he has to do anything crazy. And rubbing in their gums will actually sometimes help them start producing saliva again and help them relax. That's all I was trying to do there, just getting to start licking and chewing again. We're gonna call that good. We're just gonna keep that up with him. Hopefully soon he quits this aggressive behavior because yeah, it's not fun for any of us, including him. I know he's just doing it when, out of response, either fight or flight for them. And when he gets to that point where he's feeling scared, he's choosing to fight. So we'll just keep it up. This is Judge. He's literally perfect. He's a sweet old boy, but he's got still quite a few years of life left in him, I'd say. Especially if you are, just want like a perfect little kid horse to start out with. So we'll take him into the round pen to kind of show you. Um, the only time I've had trouble leading him is he's his, um, like his soles are really sore and so when you lead him across the rocks he is kind of tender footed and sometimes he doesn't want to come with you at all so you just right. kind of have to keep asking him to come with you. Right. Um, but as long as you're if you walk across the grass he's totally fine and he'll come right with you. Right. But oh you're all oh, goodness you're just so sweet. And just uh, I just wish I had a spot for you today because then I'd take you home. But right. that's that's literally what I'm waiting. And I was telling So you're them, just waiting for a spot to open I am up waiting in the for barn. a slot. And gotcha. one of the barns might have something this month. Okay. Which is great because they have like I mean just especially for an old man like him, they have all kinds of amenities. I adore him for sure. Yeah. I'm just waiting on a spot for you, buddy. I just wanted to have all my ducks in a row. I'd rather have paperwork approved and come out and meet y'all. Steven, you're the cutest ever. Right. You ready? You want to use this? I might have to boost you up still. Here, I can hold him. Sure. All right, step, step up, up there. to the top. Step up yep, again. I'll help you get up there because Lord knows you're not going to. You want to step into my hand? Oh, swing your leg over. There you go. Perfect. Scoot up a little Scoot bit. Scoot forward a little bit. There you go. You want to walk? 
Okay. Was it fun? Yeah. <laughs> say thank you. Thank you. This is Apache. Oh, okay. Oh, I've scoured the, the website. So I... That's a really good name. Oh, that's a good name? So he is also super sweet. Y'all can follow me back over there. Watch out for Mr. Judge. <laughs> he looks like a Dalmatian. Do you have a question? Yeah, because the ones I like is like the ones that are like Dalmatian. Oh, you like the ones that are colored like Oh this? yeah, he's a very pretty color. Yeah. <laughs> he likes you too. <laughs> so do you think you just want to put a hold on Judge for now and hope that a space opens up for your border? Um, what do you think of him? I like him too, it's a hard decision. If I had, if I had space, Steven, I would take them both. No way they'd be that friends. Was nice. <laughs> oh, with poking him? <laughs> no, he just whacked me in the face. Oh, I really like him too as well. It's awesome um, that both of them are so calm yeah. and they don't mind even small ones around. Yeah. So what do you think, Steven? Which one do you like better? You like this one? You like him because he's pretty, huh? And because he's being goofy like you? Yeah. <laughs> you want to ride this one? Steven, you can't just ride everything. Four-year-olds, I swear. I'm going to leave you here. <laughs> no, no. Please, no. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Well, they'll put you to work. You're gonna have to no. clean animal butts. No! Does that work? You're putting her to work, you know. <laughs> I used to do this. I used to volunteer to do this for this lady. Really? Yeah. She was older and she had a lot of people come to do pony rides at her place and I would just like spend all day walking around in circles leading kids. <laughs> oh, no. Trying to make conversation with five-year-olds. Right, uh, he'll, he turns five in November. Was that good? Yeah, your life's complete now. Yes. Yes. Look, feel how soft his nose is. Look, feel. Oh, that's really soft. That is really soft. I think I'll hope a spot just opens up because I love them both and it's really hard to pick between the two because yeah, they're both just Yeah, you want time to think hearts. about it anyway. Oh my gosh, yeah. yes. <laughs> they're both just the sweetest of hearts just and they're both so hearts. interested just they're, use your fingers. Uh, they're both interested in, in even just him you know sure, yeah. so it's really hard <laughs> if it were up to he's him he's got he an itchy spot he's scratching himself sometimes if, I, if they let me i like to scratch it for him because then they love you <laughs> see look yeah, see i'm getting his itchy spot see what he's doing with his face he's like let me scratch you back <laughs> Steven, hold on one second, okay? Like 10, 10 good seconds. Okay. So I live in Clarksville and there's not a whole lot of areas to have horses. So I'm currently on a wait list for two different boarding facilities. So I have two horses that I absolutely love and it's hard to pick between the two. We have, we don't get a ton of um, like beginner broke like kid horses, right. um, but periodically. And um, if you have a spot open, then we'll see what works. Yes. Usually we'll have like one yes. at a time, one or two at a time. Those right. are our two kid horses right now. So besides that, sometimes we have minis, but they're not oh. great for riding. No, <laughs> but both, I mean, both of them are, you know, beautiful and they're just, yes, you can get some water, Steven. Go ahead, get some. Both of them, um, you know, they have great temperament. Yeah. And so it'd be really hard to pick between the two of them right now anyway. Yeah, like exactly. They're both so awesome. There you so, go. Um, but it's just hopefully soon. That's the, yeah, that's the goal. Say thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. Thank you for coming.
Someone told me that uh, there's a hornet's nest over beside our mailbox somewhere. So I'm prepared to not get stung. Okay. <laughs> They're supposed to spray 27 feet. But now I gotta go find the hornet's nest. Oh. Do you want a can for yourself? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They're there and then they're also on the other side. There's a butterfly. But it's like they keep going inside right there. See how big they are? They're huge. Oh yeah. And they're over there too. They're like around the tree. I'm wondering if they're not just gathering the sap. Maybe so. And taking it somewhere else. Because there there's some up there too. I think they're just gathering sap that's not their nest. Because they're all the way up the tree gathering sap. Those are some big old ones. Uh huh. Okay, we'll come back later. <laughs> So we're going to be working with Athos. I did saddle him up the other day for a training demonstration for a homeschool group that came out. So we're going to do some fake ons with him today. And if he does well with those, we'll be putting the first ride on. Are you done yet? He knows my intentions. <laughs> him kind of loosen here for a little bit give him a chance to settle down and I'm gonna get all my tack my saddle and everything I'm gonna need out here and ready and then we'll start getting to work it's been a while <laughs> it's a little dusty I haven't used a saddle in about three weeks because, uh, you know, I had my car accident, so it is uh, a little dusty. I'm going to wipe it down real quick. <laughs> I'm not prepared. That sounds about normal. That's funny. What do you mean? Halter. I thought I hung it up, but I guess it didn't. That'll work. That's probably right where I hung it up. I wanted you to go through all the groundwork stuff with them first, <laughs> then do the fence work and I'll come in and saddle them. I don't understand fence work. Huh? I don't understand fence work. I try my best, but I don't understand it. Understand what? Fence work. I'll show you. <laughs> so when you're done with all the... I'm just giving you a heads up. <laughs> That's fine, I'll teach you. So just go through all the groundwork. Hi, we've met briefly before. You've kicked me before. It's gonna go great. Mm -hmm. Remember, if you get bucked off, you gotta bring cookies. When did I not hear this rule? I, I didn't put that rule into place yet, but if you want, I can, uh, you know, backdate some of those. So we got a couple orders of cookies coming in at this point. Good job. That was a good change right there. Good job, buddy. He'll, he'll do it with me. You just kind of bump, 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 keep bumping until he starts going. And then give him a chance. And reinforce with that rope coming in. Ask again, tell, reinforce. Ask, tell. What are you doing today? There you go. That's all we wanted you to do. All right. Hello, friend. I know it's me again. <laughs> you got the bounciest little trot. Super bouncy. 
Lydia said once he starts gaining muscle, that should go away. It should. That's what she said. <laughs> What is that? You wanna check it out? What is it? What? This is your shot, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna teach Taylor how to do fence work so she can do it with him. Cause ultimately she will be the one being up there in the saddle. So he needs to be used to her up there as well. Don't get bucked off the fence, because that'll be the first time I've ever seen it, and I might have to laugh and make fun of you a little bit. I would hope so. Okay, as long as we're on the same page with that. I feel like I'm in a very precarious position at this moment in time. So if you're ever gonna try fence work with your horses, just make sure you're uh, you know, used to being up there on the fence and getting around on the fence. And you don't just want to plop yourself down on your horse. You do want to get it prepared by rubbing your foot along it and then just slowly ease your way down onto the horse's back. Good job, buddy. What do you think, man? You want to make a move around a little bit too after you get that saddle on because they like to. Uh, kind of hold in the air when you first put saddles on and once you get it moving around they'll actually let some of that air go. So now I'll turn him to his own devices and see what he does. He did not really care last time so we'll see how he does this time. And you want him to lope, go through all the gates just so he can feel that pressure at all those gates. That was pretty nice buddy. That was a nice turn, Fran, you went to hold. Sure was. Let's stay relaxed. He should be good. You're just making me more and more confident that I'm gonna fall off. Sit back, stay relaxed. You gotta move your feet. Just keep you asking, see? keep hanging in there. Good. Pet him like crazy right now. Good job, buddy. Good. Good boy. So we're not really looking to make him go in a certain direction, just looking to get him that forward motion in. First drive, we go where he wants to go. But it's our idea. So just spinning in circles is fine? Well, let's try to, we'll keep asking. We want to try to get really just the forward thing going. Now he wants to move forward. <laughs> um, it got kind of sketchy in the center there because he kept raising up his back and I dropping his shoulders. And I'm that. like, okay. It's like you look nice and collected right there, buddy, but you also look like you're about to buck her off. This is a super proud dad moment. He did really well for the first ride. Um, um, typically for the first ride, you just want to ask for them to disengage their hindquarters, get them kind of used to you being up there in the saddle. Um, I did try to have Sailor do some forward movement. He did get a couple steps. Um, towards the end there, he got about three steps, so I told her to call that good. She hopped off, and as soon as she went to go hop off, he really wanted to walk forward. So I think that was pretty good. We'll try it again next week and see how he does with it. Um, he did start to squeal a little bit and kind of arc his back like he was thinking about bucking, but ultimately he stayed nice and calm. So, I'm happy. Are you happy? He didn't, that's all that matters. <laughs> he can think about it all he wants to. <laughs>